Our folks Flo's over here working on the dishes. And I believe she's got my chicken wings already marinated. Oh yeah, you've seen them before. But you know what, when it's delicious, just don't change it. That's the uh, banana ketchup right here, which is popular here with barbecue, especially down in Cebu. Like everywhere I go in Cebu, they always put the, the banana ketchup on it. Delicious. And we also add some uh, uh, oyster sauce. The treat of this video. Uh, maybe it's a treat for you and it's a treat for the ladies, but it is certainly not a treat for me. These ladies are gonna cook some Tuyo, Tuyo. I don't know how to say it. If you say it, it's Tuyo, but if you say it wrong, it's soy sauce. If you say soy sauce wrong, then it's the stinky fish. So I have to clarify, but she's gonna work on these dishes. Let me come out here and show you what we're working with. Now, as you can see, we're here on the outdoor cooking arrangement because I have banned any and all cooking of this Tuyo inside my crib. And I also extended the ban to eating of Tuyo inside the crib. And here you go. This, I don't even want to touch it. I'm just going to use this right here. I'll spin this around. I, I don't even want to touch this shit. This is the Tuyo. So it's a little stinky fish right there. And if you, when you take that off, it's going to stink. When you put those in this pot, it's a cauldron of stinkiness. Now, it's not as bad as the Purple Nasty, the Bagaon. Uh... But this is pretty bad. It's, 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 this smells like stinky feet. Like a homeless guy's socks that's been living in the rain for like four weeks. You take those socks and put them in boiling water in a closed room. Uh, I, I, it's just horrible. But it's not nowhere near the, the Bagaong. That's the purple nasty is just absolutely disgusting. All right, so I thought Fluffloat was going to cook, but looks why she don't want to cook. She's shy to the camera? Or or did, or would you just get jealous and you wanted to get out here and get on the camera, baby? She said, I'm the one who will All right, so tell us what you do with this Tuyo. Hold on, let me check the wind, hold on. Okay, I, I'm not sure which direction I gotta stand, but I can't, I gotta figure out which way the wind is blowing because I can't have this shit blowing on my face. I'll tell you what, you just go ahead and start firing it up, baby. I'll stand okay. over here at a distance. Okay. All right, I'll open the gas for you. Let's see if she can get a tune out of this trombone. Honey, do you put any spice on this stinky fish or what? No, I'm going to just fry fish. You're just going to fry it? That's all you're going to do? Just make sure you'd never, never put this in my lodge 3.2 quart no. cast iron combo cooker. No, 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 <laughs> not the combo cooker, baby. Here we go, folks. Oh, Lord. How, baby, how can you, how can you do that? I don't understand so how that's even possible. Oh, that's like a homeless dude's uh, socks right there. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh my god, I just smelled it, folks. I gotta back off. Get the baby. You know that's not even funny. That is horrible. Absolutely horrible. It's only it's Honey, the only thing worse than that is bugger on, and you know it. Oh, that's so disgusting. Folks, I can't, I can't stay out here too much longer. I can't stay out here too much longer. What else are you going to put in there? Only the... That's it? Yeah, I just fried. Close my eye. All right, baby, you know what? I, that's it. That's the end of the Tuyo video. I, I got to go inside and close the door. I can't even stand it out here. No, son, don't open the door, boy. Don't do it. You're a young man. Don't do it, son. Make her eat that Tuyo outside, son. No, don't do it.
Uh, just wait till your mama finishes that Tuyo and then hand her a toothbrush through the door. Are you excited to eat the Tuyo? Yeah. Baby, I'm not opening the door anymore, all right? No, you can eat the rice when you get done with that. Just lock them out, folks. This is serious. All right, step back away from the door with the Tuyo. Honey, don't kiss the boy with the Tuyo, bruh. What is this? So, so, you know I'm about to cook these wings, right? So this this is your snack before dinner? Yeah. <laughs> My gosh. Until midnight snack. This is their snack before the meal. And you want to know why Fatima is a thick girl now? Folks, Maria looked out and saw that stinky fish and that rice. She had to get in on the action. She's a true Filipina. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you very much, honey. You always take care of your papa. You might think I'm making a huge deal out of that. Like, oh, you're such an asshole. You're living in their country. It's their culture. They like to eat that fish. Whatever. Your ass ain't here. Your nose ain't here. Mine is. Hey, they can eat whatever they want, folks. This is, you know, I don't tell people what to eat. They can eat whatever the hell they want, but they're not gonna eat it in the house when it affects others, namely this dude. Because just being out there for that little bit around it, it, it just makes me queasy. And trust me, I've ate a lot of nasty things in my life, but the stinky fish and the baga on can't tolerate it. It just can't come in the house, it's the way it is. They can eat all the hell they want, right out there in that beautiful balcony with the cool breeze. They got a place to cook out there. Hell, if they want to cook baga on, they're welcome to. Just eat it out there, keep the door closed, and don't affect me. You know, I don't want to ruin my fucking appetite um, because of those two particular dishes. So, you might think that's a little rough, but hey, yeah, I'm living in their country. But once they cross that threshold right there, that's the kingdom of Marcos. And I'm not down with buying home. Right? It's just the way it is. So they're happy. They're hanging out. This is so funny. Maria loves that too. But, you know, she's living with her mother down there. She's more Filipino than my son is. I don't know if he's trying to take a bite of that fish or not. I mean, he'll try anything, but I'm not sure he's going to like it. I don't know, maybe. So I'm about to fire up the grill. Man, that marinade is just a great combination. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit more spices today. But I'm serious, seriously thinking about getting a grill for our own little balcony here. The grill over here is a community grill. It belongs to uh, Smokey Joe. And it's a nice gas grill, you know, charbroiled gas grill, no problem. We can use it as much as we want. Matter of fact, the, the tank played out the other day, so I just paid for a new tank. Folks, it's like 15 bucks for a tank, and the damn thing will last for months. But it would be much more convenient if I had my own out here on the balcony. I just can't decide if I'm going with a straight charcoal grill or if I want to go with a gas grill. The gas grill is so much more convenient, but I have a gas grill right out there with Smokey Joe. So maybe I should go with a charcoal here and... Uh, you know, if I really just need to cook something in a hurry, I take it over there and go see my friend Smokey Joe. Anyhow, it's a huge dilemma. Huge decision to make on the barbecue realm. What, sweetie? Teeth, teeth? Okay, come on. Come on immediately. Let's go do teeth, teeth. Come on. Then you can give me a kiss. Yeah, lock them out. Good idea. You keep that outside, baby. <laughs> Folks, time to barbecue. <laughs> Folks, I don't know if you can see that. Look at that cloud cover below the rim of Mount Ariat over there. That's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got Smokey Joe on the scene, but I don't know about y'all. When I, when I barbecue, what I do, 
I clean the grate up first. I clean everything up. And then I put that bad boy on high. And I just burn the hair off that pig. You know what I mean? Just burn the hair off of it. Ooh, shit, Smokey Joe. Oh my goodness. Ladies, cup of water, cup of water, cup of water. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Got a big fire. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Gotta love these radios. Smokey Joe. Let's cut the gas off. Just burn the hair off that pig right there, but I gotta get a cup of water on. Stand by, Smokey Joe. Oh shit, that went out quickly, man. That's a weak ass fire. Get it back going. Put it back on high. Shit, that was nothing, man. That was a false alarm, baby. I had a big fire going on here. Smokey Joe said to call the fire department, so you brought the water. Hey, listen, I got a question for you about these wings, okay? But don't tell, don't tell your sister over there. Now you like spicy and I like spicy, so I'm putting a little chili in them wings. <laughs> I like to put this. It's okay with you? Yeah. All right, we're gonna do it. We all voted her two to one in the democracy of the chicken wings. All right, thank you very much, Flo. All right, folks, in no time, I'm like a present. This is what I'm working with here. Beautiful chicken wings. You know what? Matter of fact, I'll put this over to this side. You can see these wings going on the grill. I actually got this thing down on low. Low is slow, but it's a hot grill. It's a hot grill. Show the fire burning on the dance floor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. What's this here? that over there. Let me just uh, get a little water. Let me get a little water. Let's put this little fire out. Oh yeah, smoking it up. Smoke it, Joe. And don't tell if I can mind, but me and Flo Flo put some little spice on here. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get that out of there. Hey, I'm gonna have to get Flo to get off the camera and get that out of there. Before if I can mind sees what we're doing. Just a little chili, just a little chili, that's all it is. I'm not putting habanero pepper on there, just a little bit of chili. What we'll do, nobody complains of salmonella. Just on the first flip, we add that juice, add that sauce on the first flip, and then let it go to work. This one here? Good eye, good eye, missed out. Right there. Mm -hmm. That dog bowl. <laughs> dog bowl. Them dog bowls right there, we're up there waiting gold <laughs> to a barbecue pit master. Little Red Riding Hood. Bring it on, baby, she got my beans. Flo, give him a peek at what I got in there. All these ladies said was that they was going to cook rice with this. I said, hell no. I want some beans. I got it, baby. Just put it right here. Just like this. The, the, the lid don't fit. You just got to put it like that. And bring it down. Bring it down. Smoke it, Joe. Got the chicken juice just dripped down in the beans. It's like a game of badminton here. Hit him back. Hit him back across the line there. Across the net. All right, he goes that way, and then the ladies get him. Okay, boom, then they hit him back. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> of course, your feet are, you got a bad case of TPKF. Trailer park kid feet, son. Oh my goodness. All right, folks, look, they keep telling me that this is done. I think the wings need a few more minutes. My beans, they probably need about five more minutes. And Smokey Joe concurs. So you may proceed, Mr. Charbroil. Baby, what do you mean it's cooked already, it's dry? You, you haven't even looked at them. 
you saw them from 30 feet away and you know that they're dry already. Yeah, I have a good eye. I don't think so, baby. Good job, Maria. Sweetie, be nice to brother. Be good out there. Come here, Bella. Come here. If these wings are done, I want to see your reaction. Reaction video. Is it ready or no? No. No? Oh shit, we got a Filipino disagreement here. The Ate is disagreeing with her younger sister. Honey, it's not done. They gotta cook a little longer. Flo is on my side. Fatima is taking over. Flo, let's wrestle her down to the ground and take away the barbecue tongs. Honey, the wings are not done, honey. No, I gotta bake them for five more minutes. Baby, I barbecued them. Now they're on baking mode. Leave them up there. Look at you. Look at you. Now you're dropping my wings on the ground. Honey, can you please cease and desist? Relinquish my barbecue tool. They're not done, baby. That's not burn. Your sister agrees with me. Now what? What's, so what's going on here? You came over here and destroyed my operation, and now I'm supposed to pick up the pieces, like a broken relationship. This product right there, folks. Look at the beans right there. Mm, I cannot wait to eat them beans. I turned pork and beans into baked barbecue beans that Smokey Joe approves of. Where do you want to play? All right, go ahead, Force G. Get a little. Dun, 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 dun. Now, folks, listen. These barbecue beans are delicious. They're finished, but this handle is hot. This handle right here will burn your fingers. Unless, take the barbecue tools like this. Get a good grip on it like that. Smoke it, Joe. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Gracias por tu hospitalidad. <laughs> but it's time to chow down. Forrest G is going to town. And Maria's still working on her music skills. Look at this. Oh, loud. Oh, loud. Baby, wait a minute. Where's my beans? <laughs> my beans are out here on the lower 40 because they don't care about my beans. And the only thing I'm concerned with is my God. I hope that two year old flavor has not permeated into my beans from that aluminum. Ladies, if my beans smell like two yo, you're buying me a new pot tomorrow. Hold on the back of that chair. Folks, that sun, that sun is so bright, I can't even open my eyes. Oh my goodness, even if I have my shades on, it's just beaming right down. It's like two lasers in my eyes, so I can't even open my eyes. But it's so bright, I love it. 
came a rain today. But as that sun goes down, it's like a fucking Sahara. <laughs> I mean, it's like I'm on Mercury and the sun is up in my eyes. It's not because I'm squinting. It's not because I'm blind. It's because the fucking sun is straight up in the eyes here. I just want to say thank you for joining me on today's video. Uh, I've been drinking, so by the time I sit down and edit tomorrow, I don't even know what the outcome is going to be. But I did issue a, a strict, stringent warning to these Filipinas here. I said, listen, by tonight, I'm going to get down to the bottom of the truth. I want to hear some truth and consequences. New Mexico, I don't want to hear the truth about my goats. Ladies got to eat some of that stinky fish. I'm going to throw down some barbecue chicken with my barbecue uh, beans and some bread. I got some bread in there. I told them, ladies, I don't want to see one grain of rice on my plate tonight. All right. <laughs> Damn, it's never any battle against rice over here. Shit. Anyhow, folks, if you're not a subscriber here on my channel, bottom right hand corner of your screen. You're going to see a little overstay road sign. Smash that overstay road sign. And then ring that bell like Rocky. Yo, Adrian. It's me, Rocky. Who's that ringing that bell? Ring the, ring the bell. I don't have a production schedule. So ring the bell so you know when I upload a new video. It could change your life. Shit, I got to relight like that. Thanks for joining me. You know, every night when I watch that sunset, goddamn birds are up there, and pigeons. They love watching the sunset too. They got a better view than me, I think. Shout out to them pigeons.